like a regular five. commercial. Do you want to do it halfway through? Hi, this is Jim the Keys bartender coming to you from Shipwreck in North Key Largo uh, on the ocean side near 107. I used to say 106, but we are closer to 107, aren't we? Yeah. I'm here with Luke, Glenn, and Bill Wissinger. Say hi, Bill. Hey, how y'all doing? Luke? Oh, hey, oh, man. <laughs> you forgot you were here. <laughs> hi, how high are you? <laughs> yep. Um, we're, this is episode 121, Attack Ads, and we're in the midst of political, political season. season. Yes. And it is uh, harsh. If it's political season, why can't you shoot them? That's exactly what I was going to say, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's, it's politician season. No, it's voter season. So it doesn't matter. Um, we're here in Key Largo. It's beautiful. The temperature's dropping once again. Oh, again it's, uh, it's been fucking nice, man. Nighttime is getting just gorgeous. The humidity's we got a little down. Hot, we got a little hot spike coming up this weekend, and I think Monday and Tuesday's oh, going to get cooler. Oh, it's going to be like 82, and i got to do the uh, pit stop party. You want to come by yeah, and we broadcast? Yeah, we are coming by. We're going to do okay. – I think we're going to do a couple shows. Uh, Wait, what day is that? Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. We're going to do a Tuesday because I, I work on Monday. Okay. Um, But, uh, Luke, are you, you work all day Monday? Tuesday? Maybe what? You work all day Monday? I work at where double is it gonna, Where is it going to be? At the crib? Yeah. What time? Uh, noon to 10 and noon to 6. We'll do a late show. You want to do a late uh, show, Luke? Um, I could do a late show for sure. Okay, well, but, um, maybe we'll, what we'll do is we'll time a show right before Luke and then go right into the next one when Luke arrives. This uh, way we knock we out might the might be able to do that, but I still got to break down and go play at uh, Snook's I'll help night. you. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 but he'll be out. What We'll do it. What yeah. time can you get to the crib? Probably uh, around noon, you know. I'll oh, be shit. Driving, I'll be driving the cab, so. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, then. Yeah. So there's well, a I can do that, too. It's still slow. Yeah, we'll so. get Captain Josh on, and we'll, we'll have a good do? old time. Okay, wait. Uh, before we leave today, we'll get over that. I didn't want to screw anything up, but, you know, once again, uh, it's politics. We're here at, we're not going to talk. I want to talk about shipwrecks. Uh, what are some of the fine things that happen here Monday through Friday, happy hour? What's it, 3 to 6, guys? Something like that. Something um, like that. They have a great uh, selection of beer and wine. Dollar Bud Light drafts oh all my God. the time. We're going to fall I in the canal here. We got to um, You know what? Today, I think what we have to do is I, I got to take a $4, picture. $4, man. <laughs> well, it's a <laughs> big 30-ounce uh, uh, $4. Yeah. Cheaper than buying two or bottles. What? what are you drinking? Stella. Stella. A, a, a 30 ounce mug of Stella for what? Uh, I think it's four bucks. That's pretty good. That's, yeah, that's a, that's yeah, a happy, I'll, happy hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Um, it's happy hours. Happy by the time, hours. Gonna, by the time you leave here, you're very happy. Um, and we're we're gonna hear a little about your uh, your preference for beer and, there you and go. bills later. Well, you know, we were talking about it's political season, and uh, Jim sent me a couple uh, attack ads, and we put some music behind them. So I think this is a good time to just go ahead and play them. Music em. right now, okay? Yeah, let's go ahead. We got um, mine first. Bill Wissinger says he never met a beer he wouldn't drink. Why does he only drink Bud Light? Bud Light is the most volume beer produced in the United States. What does Bill Wissinger have to gain? Bill Wissinger says he drinks six beers a night. But did you know it was from a 64-ounce mug? That's about three gallons a night. On 52 separate occasions, Bill Wissinger has been seen parked immediately next to a Bud Light truck. Bill Wissinger wants to drink all of your Bud Light, so you'll be left to drink only natural light. Bill Wissinger suspiciously resembles a high-ranking official of the Taliban. As mentioned on several occasions, the sound is probably some signal to the Taliban. On November 6th, vote for Luke Glenn to be King Hillbilly. He only drinks gay-ass imports like Stella, smokes a lot of weed. He's not a Taliban warrior. Okay, now we have the counterpoint. Here comes Luke's. 
Luke Bland may sound like he is just a musician with homespun wisdom and a melodic singing voice, but is he? Luke has repeatedly been called a knucklehead by his wife Kimberly and has been seen cradling kittens in his underwear on the can. We have pictures. Luke Glenn says that he likes smoking a lot of weed. If true, how come he's always remembering shit like his wife's name? Luke Glenn says that he would insert a vibrating butt plug into his anus. To this day, he still has not inserted. Great promise on the butt plug, Luke. Luke Glenn says he isn't a wizard, but he has been regularly seen arguing with hobbits that he insists is his wife, making the allegation even more disturbing. In summary, Luke Glenn is weird around kittens, lies about smoking weed, doesn't keep butt plug promises, and probably is a wizard. November 6th, vote for Bill Wissinger for King of the Hillbillies. He is not a wizard, he smokes weed, never promised to insert a butt plug, and it's not weird around kittens. Okay, that was inspired by just all the ads I saw on, tel- uh, on TV. And I'm a partisan myself. I'm very progressive. Um, Luke's a libertarian. Uh, uh, no, no, Bill, Bill's a libertarian. Bill's a libertarian. He's in the middle of this thing. Kind of actually with the way things are right now. And uh, Luke's like, uh, I, I know we, we are similar in outlook right there. It doesn't make it better. and doesn't make it worse. But uh, right now in the bars... I swear to God, there's guys that just sit there and they'll start bringing up a subject. And you know it's going to be a sore point, and I'm just going like this. I'm stuck behind there, and it's like fucking Thunderdome there, Bill. Two men enter, one man leave. I can't leave. You're going to have to leave. And I'm not leaving before the end of the night, so I'm not going to give up. So why would you want to try to get me started? I mean, it's just the same. So I got a friend now that comes in. His name's Bob. Bob, uh, Captain Bob, he works for Slate. And I love Bob. And Bob is conservative. He starts poking me. And what I do start is I talk about religion. I start talking about Jesus and stuff like that. Remember we said, did I say yesterday about the uh, chlamydia, stuff like that? What did he say? Letters to the chlamydians. Uh, Jesus, uh, uh, no, uh, the Apostle Peter's uh, letters to the chlamydians. The uh, Chlamydians, man. Yeah, no. But uh, was he explaining the proper use no, of the clitoris? Well, yeah, <laughs> you need a clitoris. We had to a pick good, the right we had kind a good time on that show. Jim, yes. Jim was making up all sorts of STDs. Yes, I got uh, nose herpes, um, armpit gonorrhea. Uh, but the arm actually, when I did a little research, there is a uh, thing where you get ra- a rash under your Toe armpit. jam and the bunghole. There you go. Oh, that's a. Uh, now, and it you makes know, you insane in the membrane, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, you probably get that from uh, those little monkeys. Because there, there, there's a story here. I was uh, spending the night with a buddy of mine. Uh, we all got way drunk at his shop up in uh, Palm Beach. And he's got a bunch of macaques. And so I'm macaques? Go- and macaques. Little tiny. I know little. exactly what they are. And so I'm going to go pass out on the couch after we all pull up. And he throws me a broom. I'm like, what the fuck's the broom for? He's going, that's in case the monkeys come up and start trying to fuck you in the ear. I'm going, I'm going to sleep in the van. <laughs> fuck this. Holy shit. <laughs> I'd be wearing earplugs, man. Oh, no, I just went and slept in my van. Man, ear had a piece. <laughs> ear herpes. Yeah, yeah, ear herpes, nose herpes. So if somebody arm- has athlete's foot and they're playing with your genitalia, you know, you could get you know, athlete's, athlete's dick. penis. Actually not <laughs> because it's hole. too moist down there. Oh, that's jock itch. Jock itch is, is crabs. No, jock itch is fucking athlete's foot on your dick. It's crabs. Yeah. It's fucking Tanactin, man. Works on both places. I know, but it's from having unclean sex. Bacteria and You should know that. You're fucking Taliban. You should know that. You got to know the no, woman I know, for I know, a fortnight. I know, jo- I know jock itch from fucking sweating in 200 fucking degree fucking heat wearing a set of Dead got, cow on my ass. What you got to do is put a sock on your. You got to put a cap on your Jimmy. I think it's called. Put a hat on your Jimmy. There you go. So, but I, you got to wrap that thing. But but if you think about it, with attack ads, whenever you're pissed off at someone, whenever you have to defeat them, how are you not going to couch your comments to make that person's view seems most negative and yours seem most positive whatever interaction you have whether it's uh, an argument you have with kim right 
Oh, there's no winning. <laughs> that, that, no. no, no, no. If she's, you're telling someone about it, no. But if you're telling, yeah. if you're telling someone about it, yeah. If you're you arguing with a you're, woman, you, you just assume you've lost. No, okay, you're off on the point there. I'm saying if you're telling a, a third person about it, not you and the person you're arguing, you're going to make yourself seem in the best light. They're playing her this in song the worst. on the country stage. I'm sorry. I got off track. See, that's really? all. Well, that's all right. It doesn't matter because we're not talking to anybody else. We're just in here. You being distracted is not a bad thing. Well, that's actually. Uh, that, actually, I wouldn't mind someone 103 playing some. No, no, no. We were, rock. but we, now that we're referring to country. another yeah. station, and they're not listening to it. That's not. We're happening. musicians, so when I hear music, I can't help. I but can't the person, tune it out. but people on the radio on on the podcast don't hear the music. Yeah, I so know, it's and not, it's, uh, it's, it's not happening right now. Sure, it's, it is. it's definitely a, like it a is happening, Mule but they don't give a shit because they don't hear. Oh, it. Yeah, I don't, don't think that it, was but. radio. I think that was Bob's sound. No, no, that was. Uh, oh, that was radio. Yeah, it's still happening right now. Okay. Okay. Because we got Bob setting mm-hmm. up over there for the open mic. Uh, no, I, I understand that, but Bob's. it's still happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, nothing's happening. things during the week here, they have open mic night on Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Okay. Okay. No, well, that is something happening. That is when something happening. we refer to happening. someone that's not near the mic, and we're just they're setting up. And you don't <laughs> give a description on what the person looks like and what they're doing. I mean, just setting up. Is, they were playing classic rock on the country station. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is. It is. <laughs> but... They don't there hear we go. it. No, but they don't hear it. So they heard it now. They were playing classic rock. They on the heard you station. said it, but they didn't hear the mu- music, so it doesn't really matter. I guess that is. Bob I think that stuff. is Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Good. Are we done? No, we're not near done. <laughs> well, you got to be done now because I'm going to start talking. Uh, yeah. What person hasn't told a story that where they they made the person that they were arguing with look the most wrong, and they look the most positive, and. Um, you know, whether someone's been treated poorly or shunned or wrong. I can uh, tell you something that happened to me. Years ago, I got uh, arrested in Virginia, possession of marijuana and concealed weapon. Mm-hmm. And so... Uh, really? Uh, yeah, a buddy of mine goes up there with me. And, you were actually uh, like carrying, carrying? No, I had a fucking uh, oh, knife a t- this, this knife. big. <laughs> that three I inches. Used, that I used uh, what happened is Luke is showing his fingers about three inches apart. It's about apart. a three-inch little tiny fucking little knife, yeah. and uh, I used it to open up my Copenhagen cans, and it fell <laughs> under my seat. Therefore, it was concealed weapon. <laughs> so uh, my friend's advice was we go to Bland County, Virginia, and we're getting a motel room there, and uh, so my buddy tells the guy, Oh yeah, man, he's up here for the uh, you know, for the knife thing, you know, the little knife under the seat thing. And um uh my buddy shushes me when I went and possession uh, you know. And so the guy that were the motel owner knows the district attorney. And so he calls him up on the phone and the district attorney guy says, "Oh, well, he didn't tell you he was busted for weed." And then the guy was like, "Oh, you can't ever, ever tell half a fucking truth, man. That's never the way to fucking go. I, that's that 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 lesson came back to bite me in the ass. There you go. If he, if if we if we had just if I had fessed up to the weed right off the fucking bat, yeah, said hey, he I had a joint st- too. He, he might have still called, you know. Yeah. Well, I, in Virginia, I had a misdemeanor amount. In Florida, it would have been a felony because I had um, a fucking. Yeah. That is pertinent to the Keys bartender so much about a drug story. It is great. I'm serious. Well, I mean, it's just fucked up that uh, you know, don't don't tell a half fucker. If the cops pull you over, fucking don't bullshit them. No. There's nothing more they hate more than being bullshitted. If you tell a cop the cold, god honest truth, they shit their pants, man. Yeah. When I got pulled over in Deadwood. For uh, you know, I was speeding down an icy slope, blah blah blah. So I get pulled over. He asked me how much I had to drink, and I told him, "Well, I had about five or six Jim Beams on the rocks. I had eight or ten beers. I had a shot of tequila, a couple shots of Jaeger, <laughs> a couple shots of uh, something, yeah. whatever. I just I, Goldschlager. I drank with everybody there, man. You know, but I got a high tolerance, man. That's what I told him. Yeah. And his, his fucking face just <laughs> so he let me go. Oh, and really? Long story short, he let me go because I was the only person that ever told him <laughs> verbatim what I had to drink. Oh, wow. That... And he said, I can't believe you're not slurring your words or nothing. No, you know? no. I can't argue with that. And I, I, I'm, I'm suggesting in, in an argument, if someone's going to have a discussion, 
Let's say gun control. <laughs> okay, Being no, able no. to hit your target. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen. If I was, like, for more restrictions, yeah, I would state my opponent's views. I'd do the whole thing. My opponent views guns as protective issue, helping to preserve the safety and sanctity of his family and home. That restrictions could possibly lead to a day when gun ownership would be outlawed. Beginning and end of stories. And that's his argument. Mine would be, we believe in common sense restrictions to enhance, enhance our safety by putting guidelines in for mental health, past histories of violence and assault, weapon and high capacity magazines. And that's it. My Not expanding on my no, but imagine goes to have to have a license say, for a car. No, no, but okay, look, yeah, look at this. For a gun. Yeah. Okay, a and Republican. I'd be, happy, I'd be happy to register my thirty-eight Smith, Smith and Wesson. And, and if you get too old or you're but, fucked up, you can't drive. If you can't fucking see right, you can't drive. They put restrictions. Let's not on lose the flor- uh, power. Um, the um, forest for the trees. The what? Don't lose the forest for the trees on this. What I'm suggesting the right, for the what? <laughs> Don't miss the forest for the trees. Oh, I thought you said farts. Okay. Not farts. And and what I'm suggesting is whenever it's like if I'm uh, my friend's over here, he's a conservative uh, Republican, and he says, you know what? The government doesn't need to have our money. Uh, corporations know better what to do with their I profits. I agree. I don't something. think the government should have our money either. Oh, no. That's not the point of it, <laughs> Luke. I understand. But what I'm saying is I, I would go and say, well, my opponent believes that corporations make the best decisions. But don't make a value judgment when you say that. That they know people know what to do with their money. And there should be a limited amount Not me. of uh, <laughs> limited amount <laughs> of our income should go to the government. And it should only serve the basic necessities that governments need to uh, dole out. Oh, yeah, now, that's a fantastic idea. No, Okay, see, you're still not getting the idea. I'm talking about making an argument. Yeah, I know. The argument is me going on the other side and saying, I believe, and I say with the same dispassion, that uh, the government is a, over, it creates the atmosphere to do business. So you have a commitment to pay your share to have the government mediating or protecting commerce. And that we have a certain minimum that we need to ensure that our citizens are healthy and happy and well educated. Yeah, so and that's and that's and that's it. Oh well, no, going, but but the problem with that argument is everybody who believes differently is just going to go bullshit. I know, I know. They could say that. <laughs> they could say that. Yeah, they could say that bullshit was, they could, until they get hit by a cat four storm. And oh then, no, no, no. Okay, and then no. they're like, "Where's the fucking help?" You no, know? no, we're not. I'm not arguing <laughs> with the merits. Meaning, you have to because. I believe you're not going to convince someone on the other side, no matter how eloquent your argument is, but just say, I do, and you're giving it to them saying, you're giving it to what? a person you saying. You're fucking with the kitty. No, He's but. Like, Come and see me, kid. No, no, forget. Nothing's happening here. <laughs> yeah, T-Bone's barking at the dog. Okay, nothing's T-bone's happening when you kid. say you're barking at the kitty. They don't know there's a kitty there and all that, and they don't even know it's a dog. What? They do now. <laughs> Well, they do now because I pointed it out. Otherwise, you would have spent like five seconds talking. He loves. Dog. He has three he kitty cats like of his own. We'll, and talk, we'll talk about cats for five minutes. I know you'll talk about the cat that no one sees. There's a cat so out here. So it doesn't really happen. Cute. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I, and I, I have a cat that out. plays in my. I underwear. have to point out that you're you're not listening. Hey, to, Joe. You're not listening and seeing. So uh, when we get back to this thing, I'm saying when we're making. A, a play for someone's opinion or vote. You just state your opinion. You state your um, everyone state their opinion clearly. And the they state have state. to develop in their mind an opinion. They can't just go and make an opinion because that guy is who I believe in. They can. It's a stupid fucking way to make an opinion, you know. And I know neither you, Luke, or you, Bill. Decide you don't make opinions without thinking about things. You don't go, I go along with that guy says. Yeah, fuck it. Do you say it? No, no I don't. Pretty much all politicians are lying. No, I always you like have, George Carlin, You have an opinion, man. and it's well thought out, and it's based on your, what you've learned through life. So you can use this all through life. It doesn't have to be politics. If there's two guys, if there's Luke and I, and there's an attractive woman over here, and let's say we're both single, Right? And you and I are both around the same age. 
We were both single. And we made a play. Let's say there's a very attract, attractive 35 year old woman. She could have came from Connecticut. That sounds like Tiffany. Speaking that of works Tiffany. here, one of our fine weight Okay, and let's say servers. we're going she up is. to her. Let's go up to her. And I introduce myself. Hello, my name is Jim. This is Luke. Luke's a musician. He's very creative. He's got a tongue that's 10 inches long, and he can breathe through his ears. I'm not going to say that because that's a lie. <laughs> I'll just say he's going to make a plane. Only by a little bit. He'll be he'll able to make a plane. He'll be ephemeral. Uh, a, he's, he'll be exciting. He'll have some creative things to say. That's a beautiful singing voice. And I'll lick you from behind. <laughs> you know what? I can't argue with that. I did not say that. I was making a play for you. But now that you stated that, and I say I'll lick you from behind. And then I go, my name is Jim. I'm a bartender. I'm very social. I'm a funny guy, too. And, and then I can say, I'm a fitness instructor. I am, you will find out later, if you will, I am manscaped because I care about <laughs> So here you have it. You have your choice between the two of us. You're not competing. You're going to say he or me. It's fine. <laughs> and they'll be around. That's for another. There. We just turned around and waved our beers at, <laughs> at someone. We like did. we were fucking mini. We waggled our beers. At a, at a which is better than waggling our uh, waggling our junk. That's always a good that's always a good way too. Well, you, just, you wouldn't be able to see it because you guys have a shitload of hair. <laughs> right? Yes, we do. They have a shitload of hair well, these hello. guys. Hello, how are you? Uh, I, th- I think I, get, I think um, Jim's looking for another bush. <laughs> okay. But you know, I think, I think that Jim would needs I another think bush. I think that would uh, create. Uh, From what I heard, small, he doesn't have one. <laughs> a, a less air of animosity, if you didn't go and compete. I mean, some girls would like it, but do you really want to fucking compete some, for someone that wants to be fought over? Um, no, no uh, that's another thing you learn as a young man that there's there's certain people in this world, whether it's a guy or a girl, yep, that will try to manipulate you into thinking. That, uh, you know, I, I had a a girl that I knew was friends with, and she would purposely make up some bullshit and say that so and so said this and that about you and blah blah blah. Stirring his shit pot, and 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 it wasn't true. You know, they just make up shit just to stir up shit. So you always got to be fucking mindful of people like that. Yeah, if someone wants to be, if someone wants uh, controversy I mean, or that's excitement, like, that's, that means their life is so, they're so unfulfilled, they have nothing fucking going on. So, what the fuck? Uh, well, hey, Pete, how you doing? Um, hey, folks, uh, while we're taking a little break here, while our guy's here, hey, Luke, can you put down your mic while you're saying hi to someone else? That's all right. Uh, I want to talk about the Key Largo Bridge one, the 5 and 10K <laughs> that's coming up November 10th. Put down, uh, put... Key Largo Bridge Run in your search engine. What and day follow is that? the links. November 10th is a Saturday. Saturday. We're going to be doing a morning podcast from there. You can be there or not. I don't expect <laughs> you, go you to. Right ahead. I know. I know I have to because it's early in the morning. And I have no gig that day. So I'm thinking that I might just fucking take T Bone and me and him will do it. There you go. Does it cost to fucking. No, no. Why not? I'm doing a podcast from there. Yeah, well, you can oh, talk to Luke cool. while he's running. Yeah, no, you can come on down. I'm I'll, not running. I'll walk You're it. walking. <laughs> no, no, I'll be at Gilbert's, and I'll give you all the particulars if you want to. But it's, Luke, do you know what time it starts? 7 a.m., right? That's good enough for me when you said it. I think I'll be there a little earlier, but I won't start podcasting until, like, um, before, like a half hour uh before the race, I'll let the race go, and then we'll finish. So up they afterwards. still conjugate at the fucking first Baptist. We will conjugate. No, no, no it's at Gilbert's. Yeah, Starts at Gilbert's. At Gilbert's. Oh, they're doing it at Gilbert's. Okay, that's. I think that's better because you know, even though a lot of health nuts aren't going to fucking drink, I'm going to have a beer too. I don't give go. a shit if it is seven in the morning. And you'll they, take care. And you'll take care of. Your oh nuts. man, oh, Tiffy you blew, blew the, the keg, keg there, buddy. Man. Oh man, look at you. Okay, oh, in man. the interest of everybody out there. He only gets half a beer because the cake is blown. Well, we showed pictures three quarters of, Tiffany, of haven't we yet? Uh, he, get a full one. They all get he gets a full beer. He's special. Uh, thank you, Tiffany. There we go. Uh, that's that's beer. all I would give you anyway, baby. Once again, <laughs> three fourths of an inch. Oh, and uh, uh, before we do it, I just remind uh, that uh, Monday, this coming Monday, the 
29th. Something like that. It's the 20, uh, no, Tuesday. Tuesday the 30th, we'll have two shows on Tuesday because Luke's going to be playing with Captain Josh Wednesday through the weekend. No, that's and, Bill. Oh, uh, Bill. Bill will. I forget. Yeah. I, I got a looking. shorter beard. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, they're different. <laughs> they don't look exactly alike. I just. And we play two different instruments. People still uh, get Luke's that confused. Luke plays the uh, skin flute. And Bill plays the bonophone. Bonophone. Okay. The big uh, black I, bonophone. I, I, I recently, <laughs> I did not tell the uh, uh, Luke, but I told Bill that Iran is still holding uh, a hard second. Hard. And, uh, yeah, the number of listeners we have as a country. United States number one. Iran's number two. There are a bu- they're going to be a bunch of Iranians with this weird. If they're doing this for English lessons, they're going to have this fucked up Southern accent. They're going to well, <laughs> you know, a, a, a amalgam of a, a Philadelphia Southern accent. And you know what? I'll definitely do a, ter- a commercial one time. Is Bill acts like he's Mister Hillbilly, but he's from South Jersey, the same place West. that Tony. That is where West, Hillbilly's West come Jersey. from, man. Southwest Jersey, West, so. West Jersey, West Jersey. Yeah. So what the hey, fuck? There's a lot wherever, of wherever, Woods wherever there, the man. fuck Soprano buried the bodies in the Pine Barrens. Yep, that's what here's from. Yep. Okay. So how country is that? But this country, used to dig okay. it was. I know, I know. Uh, but we we'll go back to Iran. A uh, home of 81 million Iran people. So far Iran. away. Yep. I, I couldn't get away. Who is that? A uh, flock of seagulls. Flock of, flock of seagulls. Flock of, uh, okay. A flock ah. of, a flock okay. Of I'm going to go over owls. some. Since we have once again, for our Iranian listeners, um, that's kind of fucking like. Man, maybe they're not the types, man. I know, but they're fucking listening to a comedy show from uh, the United States. So I think they like whatever bullshit we're putting on right now. Well, I hope so. You man. you talked about a fucking butt plug for weeks about shoving up. I'm still buttons. not talked. I'm still not done about that. If if somebody would like to send a donation in, because right now I'll buy this it. is I'll, a slow uh, season here. No, you this know? is this is cash in hand. And, Are we um, gonna do this? Are we gonna and, do uh, this? Well, and I don't want to start out with like the the fucking maximum size. <laughs> Size butt plug, man. <laughs> I, I saw oh, this man. thing at the oh, at the go. at the store, man. It's an anal starter kit, man. There you go. And it starts out with little things that you Bluetooth stick up, too, so we can control. It's the... like people that put plugs in their ears. Get bigger, 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 and then you got the fucking cucumber shoved up at your ass. Okay. Well, Iran is a home to 81 million people. Farsi is their native tongue. Uh, there's several rules we should know about. We, you know, it's funny because we play music during the show. We play the opening and closing credits. So you're not supposed to forget about just dancing. It's worse than Footloose. It's listening to music. Um, a group of uh, young Iranians in ni- uh, 2014 were flogged 91 times. They were given 91 lashes for dancing to um, "Happy" by Pharrell. Oh, there you go. Which is a stupid fucking song. Ew. And there were people. If you're dancing American, to that, you should be getting lashes. I know. There were people that died driving their cars because they were dancing to uh, Happy. Well, and they weren't about, paying that's, attention. That's like the people with the selfie sticks falling off fucking balconies and <laughs> oh, you falling know, down do, into and, and, volcanoes and shit. Yeah. Look, I'm right by the volcano. Look, boom, okay. my damn um, Also, if you murder someone in Iran, if you reach out to their family... There's such a thing as retribution payments, and uh, it's mediated by the government. Hey, I killed and, your worthless brother. You owe me twenty bucks. No, no, you pay. <laughs> well, you pay him, and uh, the uh, if the family agrees to it, you <laughs> two cool. camels and a goat. <laughs> no, you're yeah, you're you're uh, and it's <laughs> fine. And and women are generally if you kill a woman versus a man, the oh, price is concerned. No half. It's half. It's legal to kill women. Okay. It's illegal to have sex with a wild animal. Well. well but know, not illegal to have sheep. sex with a domesticated animal. You hear that one? No. So if you have a goat Daddy. a goat in your thing, you can have sex with a goat. Oh, uh, man. So the sheep herder. That's real, Iran. Well, they could Okay. you know. And, and in, in Iran, are there are seven. up all the goat fuckers? Versus the United States, Iran has seven times as many nose jobs. As the United States. Well, they they're really big, big in cosmetic. Man. And they got to fucking cover up. All the women have to cover up their hair. That the, Or tomorrow police are coming. You yeah. have to have a scarf around your hair. A scarf goes up, over, across the throat. 
That is. These are gorgeous women. I, I knew some uh, Iranian women in Philadelphia. Well, and then some wear that full burqa thing, man, depending on how fucked you up you know. are and you're carrying your, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm th- you know, you know, it's not either. illegal. It's not illegal to and travel. And it's because men over there don't, they don't believe they have any self-control, you know? So if they see a beautiful woman, they must whip out their penis and jerk off or rape her. Well, you know, I think, that's what they... I think for them, it's more like crazy. Uh, being overly uh, protective of them. Like if your woman, you, in order to get all women to do it, I mean, your woman to do it, you got to make all women do it. Get it? Yep. So no one can look at I my woman. I think all women should so do all it. all women have to do it. Imagine, like I tell sh- none. imagine for if Tiffany had to go in that. You didn't get to see this. <laughs> uh, you know? She you know? the single finger salute. <laughs> that sucks. You don't know. You, know, you go on and there's no blind and, dates. And you because can't have alcohol over there either. You know? Oh, yeah, you can. Well, you know, uh, but it's not like socially. Well, if you acceptable. get caught, if you get so caught you over there, if you Luke, can't drink, you can't look at chicks. Man, give, give me a Luke, fucking suicide they, You're bomb. in a world of hurt. We got strict. Uh, we got strict laws here, what? but they're worse over there. And they also have, and I forgot about this last one. What? What? You're writing a note. She's writing. She's writing you a note. Okay. Check yes or no. Sniffing. Okay. But there's uh, worse things that go on there. Oh, yeah, I, we did talk about, we did talk about the other week that um, the other Iran, weed, the other week. If oh, you weed. wanted to screw around with someone, uh, some of the mullahs or the imams would grant a 24-hour uh, marriage certificate. Do you know oh, what that so is? You could get, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's like the Catholic Church. Pay, you know, you can pray somebody out of fucking purgatory for the right amount of money. No, no, twenty. Okay, yeah, but it, exactly, it's similar, it's a similar kind of thing. Yeah. But the exact thing is twenty-four hour uh, marriage certificate because they can go and have sex with a woman. You're married, and right at the end of it, the marriage is dissolved. It's there you go. Absolute. Yeah, that's exactly what Muhammad wanted to happen, man. There you go. Maybe he did. Well, Muhammad, Muhammad. Uh, you know what? If you saw it today, who knows what they think? Just like you think the way Abraham would probably view Judaism or Jesus would uh, view Christianity. Jesus would be like, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? What the hell wrong with you guys? Didn't I throw all you fuckers out of the temple last time? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, yeah. I don't, I I mean, whether, I mean, it's always an argument. Of, I, I pissed off the Muslims. Why not piss off the Christians? I mean, whether Jewish, to me, there's uh, no Jesus. difference in the two. It's, I know, but I'm saying Jesus may may or may have not existed. Um, that pisses people even off. Even if he existed, he uh, didn't exist in how people yeah. imagine. He's, he's, he's not the same. It's dude. a made up version. It's the same. The, no, he would look so very Middle Eastern. Life, life he would look, ver- so many he would look gods, very Middle Eastern. He would look like um, a long line of dude. Yeah. No, life of Brian. Like, well, I wouldn't look at that. That were English movie, guys. Man. That's the best movie ever. I mean, it's about hilarious because he was this close to being Jesus. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best movie ever. About I know, but the only problem is he had Englishmen playing it, and once well, again, of course, they always had. It's no, Python. It's I know, no, 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 no. I understand what I'm suggesting is pointing out when every picture they have a Jesus, uh, mostly in the Western world, it's a white Jesus, and and. And I remember hearing someone say, "Well, every know everyone knows that Santa Claus is white as well as Jesus." Yeah, okay. You know who said that? <laughs> I've seen black. I've seen. I've seen plenty of pictures of black Jesus. I've seen plenty of pictures of Hispanic Jesus. I've seen Jesus. Pictures of, Jesus was of most likely Arabic fucking Jesus. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And it was mostly Arabic. He I was, mean, he, he would be very. He would man. be. He, yep. he was. A, Jesus was a Palestinian. That is correct. It looked like a Palestinian. That's why well, whatever a Palestinian looked like they, back they, then, they knew that uh, they had to create Jesus in order for them to get their country back. Yeah, he'd <laughs> pretty much, he'd probably look a lot like me. Mm. Jewish. You still look European. You got Ashkenazi, a lot of Ashkenazi in you, and a lot of European. European but it would, it would have. Pooping. I think at that time, that would have been very Middle Eastern. Yeah, a couple but, shades darker. Yeah, yeah, a little darker. Um, Probably still have the sunken I eyes. I mean, one of uh, Luke could pass for Saint Nicholas, though. 
<laughs> Could be fucking St. Nicholas. I have rosy fucking uh, rosy cheeks. cheeks. Yeah, man. Nor- he had to be from North. I, I think a- the part where St. Nicholas comes from is Northern Turkey. If I drink enough, my nose gets red. Okay. Hey, um, we got to talk about the girl Christmas party. On my lap. Uh, we're, we're, we should have. Um, it's the tenth. Uh, we're two months away from. We should have our own Christmas party. You know, so Story there's nothing show. funner than dressing up like Santa Claus and going to the strip bar and giving, gi- giving you know, <laughs> they give you the lap dance for free because you're Santa Claus. I'm going to dress up like an elf. Uh, if you dress up like an elf, man, yeah. then they make you pay. Yeah. I'm fucking charming, man. I'll get, I'll get my, I'll get it done. Yeah, you can, you can be charming as long as you got 20 bucks. You're getting a table dance. I know. I'll be charming as hell. <laughs> you can be How as we, charming as you What time did we start here today? Oh, we got about 10 minutes. 10 I'm, minutes? I'm not into time, man. Oh, fuck, yeah. Well, I know I know. sometimes about your... Uh, well, no, but you are a uh, driver, and we are... Um, I did do the uh, bridge run, and I think with 10 Watch minutes... Watch out, there's shit behind you. Sorry. Yeah. With... Uh, Ten minutes left. Yeah. We could just start talking about our plans for the uh, season. It is now two months before. I want to do a Christmas party on the show. We're going to have a Christmas party together at the catch. No matter even if you get a gig, why don't you just fucking show up? Have we, Luke, you know yeah, what we'll I mean? Show up. I know Bill uh, will I'll be I'll do there. what I can when yeah. I can. Exactly. If I can. If I'm working, I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. I got to, yeah. You know what? I, yeah, I'm happy. If it's <laughs> on one of the nights I'm working, if it's Monday night, I forget what night Christmas I have is. No well, idea. I, w- I was going to try to go and see my mom Let's for see. Christmas, okay. but I don't think we're going to have the money. Okay, to then, November, well, for us, December twenty fifth is a Tuesday. They'll be closed on Tuesday, so it'll probably be the twenty fourth. I'll be working the twenty fourth. Probably be Christmas we're gonna Eve. Do, we're going to do some. Um, uh, it's a Wonderful Life stuff there uh, on there the twenty fourth, and we'll have uh, what stuff? We're going to drink a bunch of whiskey. Wait, maybe you could. Maybe, yeah, Monday uh, Monday nights usually well you might be playing but Monday nights usually pretty good for me that's my only night off uh, you, you like play I on I Monday work night every other Monday yeah okay we'll find so out when maybe we can do Monday, our so I maybe won't work next Monday maybe we could do our Christmas party and I'll check with the place I am to make sure they're going to take care of that for us I think we should do it at the adult store <laughs> no they won't do it because of the oh uh, they don't have alcohol there either well, so they don't, don't do it and they're worried about you using their butt plugs and trying to put them back in the um, in the case, yeah, um, that's a pretty shitty you know, thing. You to know, do. at a music store, <laughs> man, you can go in and try out a guitar. Try out as many guitars as you want. Why yeah. can't you I can't, try you out can't the play plug? Stairway and then, to they, and then when no. they're done, they they sell it as a demo, man. Yeah. You know, no, but you so, can't play uh, Stairway you know, to I, Heaven. I, you know, as long yes, as it's been sanitized, I'd buy it. I would buy. A used no, remember the plug. movie? Uh, oh yeah, no. They, still, I bet, I guarantee, if you walk in Guitar Center in fucking Miami right now, there is some motherfucker trying to play Stairway to Fucking Heaven. Oh, or no. crazy train, crazy train, and he can't fucking hit any of the fucking licks. They, they sit there and they try to practice the do 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 and what? then you got your do dings too. You got to work out and, uh, uh, ding doing the doing the too. You got to get your maybe doing-dings uh, we can make now. sure that we have the Skype your dings and your dongs. Yeah, hooked up so when we do the Christmas yeah. party, we can have. Uh, oh, like I said, we can hook up. Link we can up hook up to, Skype um, anything you want. I just got to bring separate computers. Well, I got mine. I bring mine in. Can yeah. I sing my Christmas pussy song? Yeah, yes. sure. Fuck you. Cool. Yes. Oh well, why would we not have you sing your? I mean. Obviously, we won't be talking a lot about the Virgin Mary. <laughs> yeah, no. totally. We will, but you won't be a virgin anymore. Nothing. Mm. Yeah, well, we maybe we can link up. We could do. Um, so I wonder how big, get, uh, how, how big of a dick McGillans God had that he poked fucking and, uh, Mary. Any size Williams. he wants. What? Any size he wants. What size? I mean, how big is just, dick, how, mean, how big is God's dick? If he just held his hand up and went, oh, you're pregnant, you know, wow, no fun for her at all, man. He figures, God, man, he'd fucking make her be screaming and grabbing the bed sheets. Ought to give you a good roll of the hay. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know? You know, uh, in Canterbury Tales, you ever hear this story? Where the guy convinces uh, this dumb woman who is very attractive that um, 
he was the angel Gabriel, and he was coming down because she's so beautiful. He's that was the room. maid? I don't know if it's a maid. I'm trying uh, to remember. I, I, dude, I had to write a paper on these fuckers. She's a blonde, they, right? Yeah, uh, well, with Canterbury Tale, this guy came. Jeffrey in. Chaucer. Yep. Joffrey. Joffrey, actually. Joffrey Chaucer. Joffrey. The reason, the only reason I know how to say Joffrey is because of uh, Game of Thrones. Oh. You and watch that I, shit? I love that shit. <laughs> I do. Hi, we're I all gonna to die. You're done. You're done. You're done. No, dying. no, you guys Everybody's look. Uh, you gonna fucking guys die. actually look like um, <laughs> the people north of the wall. What? You know, what? I'm more of a. I'm a. I'm, I'm a more of a West Coast. I've never man. watched this show. I've never seen it. Either. It's. Uh, you know what? It's <laughs> fucking what, entertaining. Mo? It's fucking entertaining. I hear you. That's all I can My say. Wife likes and I told you about the show, uh, The Deuce, on HBO. It's Ain't all it about the, same the sex thing trade. As them it's all about the sex trade other? in New York. It's fucking great, Luke. Ain't that the same thing as that show where they eat each other, man? Or uh, no, it's not the game. Uh, that where Walking all Dead. To fight for food. No, no, shit. Walking Dead. Hunger Games or whatever. Oh, walking Dead. Hunger Games. Hunger Games, a I movie. I haven't seen that either. And Hunger that Games, a movie. Thing no. Is the other one. No, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, Hunger Games. No, Cat no, Rabbit. no. It's not a game. It's just the way, <laughs> meaning saying the way people con, you know, the, the games people play, or uh, countries do, do, do. like Napoleon. Did oh, who was and, that? Uh, who was that guy that had the talk show for a little bit? Chris Isaac, Wicked Games. That's such a good song. He had a talk oh, show. Oh. He had a talk show on HBO. You know, he also was the commander of the SWAT team in Silence of the Lambs. Was he? When they were in Nashville. Chris Isaac? At Chris Isaac. I and don't really know what he looks like, man. But I don't again, know. He's a good-looking fucking um, dude. I didn't realize that Dwight Yoakam was an actor, man. Yeah. Uh, the first time I Dwight saw Twitter Sling Blade, I, I had no idea it was Dwight, Dwight Yoakam. Yoakam. No, that's Billy Bob Thornton. Thornton. Motherfucker. Well, no, I mean. Well, uh, yeah, Dwight Yoakam. Uh, Dwight, Dwight was the bad awesome. guy in that. And no, but he's a great, he's a great actor. And he really is. Oh, I was yeah, amazing. He's a fabulous actor. Highland. No, you're good. Hi, how you doing, sweetheart? This is Lynn. This is one of our favorite waitresses. Say yes. hi. Yes. And hey, and if, Lynn, can I get one more? Go. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, good to see you. Bud yeah. Light. Yep, she knows what for. Bud Light, Stella, and Jim needs bush. more bush mm. because he cuts his off. Who doesn't? Okay, so what? Hello. Hi. hello. How we you were talking doing? to someone off mic, peach, and we were peach. just going to say hello. Come on over here and say hello. We always say hi. We're we're a bunch of polite fellows today. Oh. It's a beautiful day in the Florida Keys. We're getting a lot of good projects done. It's wonderful. The uh, flora and the fauna is coming back, and we have great music in this town. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. And I know that Jim's going to learn to play something, aren't you, Jim? Banjo? <laughs> I'm a harmonica guy. Harmonica. He plays the jaw heart, man. Dude. Hey, Doing dude, ding, 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 um, if you have the opportunity, um, come to key, the keysnotary dot com. Keys if notary, you, yeah, the keysnotary dot com. Now, uh, if I'm working and I'm, if you come into the bar, I will definitely notarize your. Actually, I have a question for yeah. you. So today, a fe- somebody called up and asked if we had a child seat in the cab. Well, do you? No. Okay. Fuck no. And um, at any rate. I, I have to want think, a, you want a car I have seat? To think, um, wow, man, you know, I could probably get a hold of Jim and hook him up with a car seat. Because he rents babies. Right. No, I don't do that He's anymore. A baby it's the Keys Notary. Oh, oh you don't so rent, you don't babies, rent anymore? babies anymore? I don't rent babies. Oh, man. I used uh, to lease babies. No, I rented baby equipment to people that came down here. But it was so intense that I just say I couldn't do it. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. We appreciate it. Oh, my wow, God. She I made mean, sure they're all filled with brim to make up for the last half beer Thank that we all got. Much. Thank you so much, sweetheart. That Polish waitress didn't even bring us a full beer last know, time. Man. Man. Okay. Well, um, the Keys Notary, we do weddings, <laughs> legal courier work. I know we don't have a big uh, maybe legal following, but we could. 
<laughs> Maybe we'll start stating some of the, the filings in the Florida Supreme Court. There you go. Uh, we can start talking about that, and I'll be able to follow them for you. Hey. What? Now, uh, just just occurs to me since he goes the Polish woman over there, which Tiffany is Polish, and she'll tell you she's Polish. You ever done one of those DNA tests? Yeah. Hey, Did you? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. There goes that bit. Well, I'm German. Hey, Luke. I'm German. I'm, you I'm ever a... done one of those DNA tests? No, I haven't. We well, ought to do one and, and, and read the results I did, and it came back that I was uh, part Crow Magdon and part <laughs> Neanderthal. I'm thinking like 70% uh, Neanderthal, 60% Crow Magdon. Well, there goes that bit. I was, I was thinking we could all three uh, send those off and read the results on air. No, I got my mind was, I told you mine was, I'm, I'm 10% Iberian North African. I sent mine in and it came back that I was artificially inseminated. <laughs> In your butt plug. I don't know. I, I might have come out of my mom's ass. I've been a pain in her ass oh ever since. But. You not come. I didn't refer to your mom. <laughs> okay, well, listen. If She's you get the opposite, it still she might be a good bit. This shit anyway. It could be a good bit. No, I'm not going to do that. To, I've never met. Well, I did. did it, I met your mother. Yeah, but. I'm not going to talk smack about Luke's mom. No way. No. That woman's a yeah, sweetheart. You met my mother. I mean, c- can she look any less Jewish? She does. She looks like she 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 does not look Jewish. Excuse me. Were you not looking at that? Well, that's, I'm from that's, Philadelphia. That's the good old Roman nose going I'm on. I'm from Philadelphia. I don't have a stereotype for because I also <laughs> saw different types of Jewish people. You never you never know. I mean, I got these guys. They're blonde hair, brown eyes, and they were Jewish and all that stuff. Well, of course, my, mom's had purple hair for the past twenty years, okay. so. I just don't really notice what anybody is other than whether they're an asshole or they're cool. I still I still think it'd be fun. We ought to get the DNA test kits and fucking send them off and read them on air. See what, yeah, see. but I might get some of my relatives busted, man. I don't know. You know, I'm, <laughs> who knows? You could you could actually be one. I might solve Cherokee. like some fucking. I'm a, I'm a, I I know I'm a um oh but a, a bit why'd North you do African that for handsome. So, you got a little Moroccan going on, Algerian, Moroccan. Oh, uh, whatever it is, uh, Libyan or Berber. It could be Berber. It could be. Uh, a, it could be a Egyptian. La- Labia. Could uh, chlamydian. <laughs> well, chlamydian. Really I think uh, Luke is it one could be quarter one of their chlamydian right now, and uh, and then uh, another twenty percent gonorrhean, gonorrhean, vegetarian, my my family tree pretty much goes straight up. <laughs> oh, not really? not a whole lot of branches. Not at in night. <laughs> the branches are like your pubic I think it hair, droops very a bit. trim, and you know. <laughs> I think your family tree droops a bit <laughs> at the end of night. They make a pill for that. I think it's got. Uh, I think it's got. They it's called flaccidness. Well, it's probably about time to sign. Oh, it is. I'm okay. flaccid when I'm flaccid, man. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Woo! Oh yeah, nothing like a little bit of whiskey, Dick. No, there isn't. Yeah, no, man. I it's it's Jim it, Beam, Dick. Man, it only hits when you're with a ugly chick, and 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 it's like you it is the best death, thing ever. Thing. Oh, that is very sensitive, Luke. When you're saying it only hits you with an ugly chick, I'm sorry, man. I hate we got a certain segment hateful, of our but, listeners uh, right here that may not. I, I don't mean to sound fucking. Fucking like I was born in 1964, and I grew up in a fucking era where an elitist, where our elitist snob, where our penis fucking from a guy that whole world and this is coming from a guy. Penis. This is coming from a guy that totally manscapes. No, that's, that's you. <laughs> that's man. you. Yeah, I know yeah, that's I know. me. I'm it's saying that from him. it's coming from me. That we got to look at all body types and all body shapes and all different looks. Oh, I have slept with just about anything that moves, slithers, or crawls. What that was. As yeah. long as it, as you long as it can it out? speak English, you know. Hey, I mean, it's, it's, not, I mean as long okay, as it can speak. Okay, we're off mic talking to somebody right now. We and, are off mic. Uh, and, Luke- and she's going, do we have to look at all body types right now? And I'm going to point out it's Fantasy Fest right now. Yeah, you're going to see yeah. all body types. You can drive down to Key West and see you're all see body types. I want to take <sighs> Tiff down and get her painted, man. I think she's she would look painted. really cool. She's already, she's already. She'd be like, well, She's got full sleeve going on. You can go totally nude, man. 
and they we don't they can, harass the help. They while can we're doing they can the paint show. you to where they don't we even don't notice, do man. We no, get, there's nothing. You yeah, nothing. We, get, we have. I don't know. She'd look good with the mermaid body paint. Especially the fish scales on her butt. Man. Yeah. There you go. Okay, man. That's uh. No, I mean they do a really good job. That, them body painters, man. You can't even tell a chick's naked sometimes. Oh man. no, you're right. You can the, the vag is covered you know, up. And if all they that if they don't knows. if they shave exactly completely, what to do yeah. around that area. So you could do it, man. You may escape. They could probably <laughs> turn your wiener into something, man. Like maybe a an, an anaconda, like an or, anaconda or a. Uh, a crocodile. Oh, I'm thinking earthworm. <laughs> earthworm. <laughs> what the fuck? You haven't seen me. You don't know me. I don't. You don't know me. You don't but pay I, my I, bills. I, earthworms can get fucking pretty big, man. I know. I, I, no, man. I know. No, I, no, I, I know. No, Luke, Luke, Amazon, Luke's, man, Luke's hung, Luke's hung like a. Uh, oh, really? How, uh, how girthy they are. Luke, Luke's two hung like, okay, what, there like you a go. bull well, field mouse. I'm hung like a stud field mouse. Stud field mouse. Oh, man. Oh, man. And I, 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 I'll, I'll probably declaim being uh, a uh, a ferret. <laughs> ferret. Okay. Well, I can't really argue with that. There you go. Uh, this is Jim the Keys bartender uh, reminding you that uh, please listen to our episodes. We're going to have another episode tomorrow. We'll have some commercials going up for the season. And uh, I'm going to turn this over to Luke and Bill to say goodbye. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Um, I would like to say, um, fuck, man. <laughs> well, come yeah, on. I really mean it. Fuck, man. There you go. And sometimes, man. I don't like doing weddings, man. If you want, if you want. I uh, I don't really I like I just come to the fucking bar, man. Yeah. Unless you're gonna pay me twenty two hundred bucks for the whole band to show up and do your party, then you know we're getting we're getting twenty two hundred bucks to do a party coming up. Yes, high five. Fucking a man. <laughs> I mean, it, people don't realize that doing a party. Oh, it's a pain. A lot of the, the I mean, a lot of the gigs we do are are fucking. They support us all year long. And so now, yeah. now we but got no, if you go on Facebook and go uh, look up Luke Summer Glenn, leave him a PM that you want to give him obscene amounts of money to have us come play, or like to see him shove a butt plug up his ass. Well, if you want to give him obscene amounts of money to do that, uh, you got to work that out on the side. I don't want to be involved. And, in that. It, it, and it'll cost you a cool mill to have us do a douche dynasty fucking gay fuck scene. <laughs> <laughs> Only a million bucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, a yeah. Cool you know, million, they, for shit. a million dollars, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I might. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? I'm there. I understand. For a million dollars, I'm I not might. going to. Uh, That's five hundred. You pick I'm thinking five hundred grand. House. I'm thinking five hundred grand, maybe. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking five hundred under the table. Yeah. That 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 bought me me and my wife been trying to buy a house. Five hundred grand. That five hundred would come out really a piece. Yeah. That come out really. That come out really handy right about now. And you can always find me. This is Bill. Uh, you can always find me at uh, Cody James and the Keybillies dot com, which puts you straight to our Facebook page. Leave us a message, and we'll get back with you, and we will come and play your party for obscene amounts of money as well. I don't have a website. We don't either. It just goes to our Facebook page. Oh, the Keys the bartender. Key, does. Yeah, Keys bartender does. So, thank you all so much for listening. Jim is technologically advanced. <laughs> I am. Uh, I just can't. I can't be. I can't be. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Thank you all so much for listening. We look forward to uh, having you back uh, with us uh, next week. And we're going to do some uh, podcasts from the uh, pit stop party with all the parrot heads heading down to the meeting of the minds, the big parrot head party down in Key West, where they go and worship Jimmy Buffett. They do so. We'll we'll have a good old time doing that, and we look I forward hear to Donald seeing Donald Trump's going to be there this year. He's also a Buffett worshiper. Is he? Well, that'll be fun. <laughs> no, uh, Buffett worshiper. Buffett worshiper. A Buffett worshiper. A butt fucker worshiper. <laughs> a butt fucker. There you go. Well, oh, thank you guys pants. so much, <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>